Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk about how you can increase and decrease the humidity in your reptiles enclosure. These methods can be applied to a number of different species and it doesn't even have to just be reptiles, it could be amphibians as well, but just make sure that you are staying in the proper range of humidity for your species by using a functional hygrometer. A hygrometer is a device similar to a thermometer, it just tells you the humidity of the enclosure or the ambient humidity humidity around that uh, hygrometer instead of like telling you temperature because that's what a thermometer does. So again, make sure you know the range that your reptile is supposed to be in. Don't just keep increasing humidity and not know how high of humidity it needs. And likewise, don't decrease the humidity without knowing how humid it needs to be. Another thing I want to mention is that the humidity in your house will probably change throughout the year. In the winter, in Indiana at least, we have less humidity and in the summer we have more, especially when we have storms. And so it's just something to keep in mind that you might have proper humidity like for most of the year, but then there's just a few months where you kind of struggle with it because of the humidity outside your house. Okay, so let's start with how to increase humidity. So one way to increase humidity in your enclosure is to decrease the amount of ventilation. So if there's more air in the enclosure, it would dry out faster. So what you wanna do is take something that covers part of your screen top, if you have a screen top. So typically people who have a full screen top are the ones that are going to experience problems with humidity. So like, for example, if my red-eyed crocodile skink, part of the lid of her enclosure is covered. That way the humidity can stay in her enclosure because she requires high humidity. I just use a piece of acrylic that I got from like one of my old gecko bookshelf pieces and I put that on top of the screen. But there's other methods you can use. Some people just take a piece of aluminum foil like in a square, wrap it up and put that on there and that keeps the air from getting in. As long as you're preventing the air from getting in with a method that is safe for your reptiles, you're good to go. Another way you can increase humidity in your enclosure is to use a misting system or a fogger, or you can even just manually spray down the enclosure more often than you already are. Another way you can increase humidity in your enclosure is to increase the amount of water that's in the enclosure. So a larger water dish or a larger soaking area. And this would also fall in lines with spraying the enclosure more, just increasing the amount of moisture in the enclosure. Another thing you can do to increase humidity is to offer a substrate that holds moisture that way the enclosure doesn't dry out as fast because there is moisture in the substrate. It also allows your reptile to use that substrate for a source of moisture, like they can burrow down into the moist substrate. Another way you can increase humidity is to use a humidifier in the room that you're keeping the reptile or amphibian in. This device simply just puts more moisture out into the air. It is the opposite of a dehumidifier, which we'll actually talk about next. So now we're gonna talk about how to decrease humidity. And the first way to do it and a lot of the ways are just going to be opposite of what we mentioned for increasing humidity, but you're going to want to increase ventilation. So allow more airflow to the enclosure so that it can dry out more. If you're experiencing too much humidity in your enclosure, a way to decrease it would be to decrease the amount of water that goes in the enclosure. So use a smaller water dish, use less water when you mist or mist less often. Also address your substrate. Is it a substrate that retains a lot of moisture? And if so, swap it for another substrate or just use less of that substrate. And finally, use a dehumidifier. When my pet room gets too humid, which typically happens in the warmer months or if like I have the windows open and it had just stormed, I'll use my dehumidifier unit. I can leave a link to it down below. It's not an affiliate link or anything. It's just, it's a nice dehumidifier that I've been using for over a year. So I figure I might as well share it. It's just a device that will take the moisture from the air in your room or wherever you're keeping your reptile. And then you can just dump out the water when it becomes full. But those are all the methods I have for decreasing and increasing humidity in your reptiles enclosure. Please let me know if I missed any. You can leave them down below for other people to see. Let me know what you thought of the video by leaving a like, or I mean, if you didn't like it, you can dislike it. I thank you for watching. I ask you to subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.